Welcome back to the final segment of today's broadcast with Dr. Derek Morris, the author of The Radical Prayer. He recently released a book, The Radical Teachings of Jesus, and that's what we've been talking about today. Before we took our break, you were speaking about these radical teachings. How do we apply them to our lives? How do, how do we cement this, you know, this relationship with Christ? You were talking about salvation particularly, and, and obviously Jesus is not just uh, discussing soteriology, technical, mm -hmm. technical term for salvation, but he really wants people to be saved. And so he tells them in a very simple way, using a, a Bible story. We talked about his confidence in Scripture. He says, as just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So as we're reading this book, or we watch the Consumer DVD series, or watch it on the Hope Channel, my prayer is not that just people would understand the teachings, but that their lives would be radically transformed. Take, for example, what Jesus taught about salvation. Jesus wants them to accept Him as Savior and to be saved from death. Not just believe in His teachings. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, he, and, and then He wants to do lots of other things, take away fear of death or give them hope for the future, whatever. Uh, what I'd like to see happen with this book and with the a companion DVD series and the free study guides they can download from the Radical Teachings of Jesus .com website. I, I, I'm praying for 10,000 evangelistic study groups to spring up. So it's not just, well, everybody go because someone's doing this presentation, but 10,000 times where people can share with family, friends, Christian neighbors. We believe in Jesus, we believe He was who He claimed to be. Uh, he had confidence in Scripture, and here are some of his radical teachings. To invite people to come and multiply it by thousands upon thousands. Imagine what that could do. Big plans for this book, and I think that's great because it's really modeling after the radical ways of Jesus to, to think big. Tell me, if you had to say in one um, message what you hope people get from this book, what would it be? Well, obviously, I want them to be saved forever. That's, that's why Jesus came. And, and there's so much confusion, there's so many uh, conflicting messages, new ideas about Jesus. Well, really, you know, he married Mary Magdalene and fathered a child, and, or really, you know, he wasn't the good guy, Judas was. You have to go back. There are young Christians, I, I teach a class on the life and teachings of Jesus. Many of my students tell me they've never read through one of the Gospels completely. Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. So how do they know? what Jesus taught. When they read it, they go, this is radical. I mean, this could change everything. This is not regular 21st century living. So my prayer would be that they would be changed, but then join the Lord in His work that, that millions of other lives could be changed too. I think that when we talk about lives being changed, it has to draw us to the fact that we've got to reevaluate who we are. Even though we believe in Christ, these radical teachings can be a basket upset for our lives. Uh, have you known members in your church who have embraced this and said, Pastor, I've made a shift. I mean, I've been a Christian for X number of years, but now I'm, I'm making a new walk or I've received a new walk with Christ. I think of a young man, Kevin, who had a very safe job, 20 years as a Marine, retired, I mean, financially fine, but when he began to really grasp what Jesus wanted and to share the radical teachings of Jesus with others. He launched into a men's ministry leader in a, in a large church where, where I pastor, and he's just pouring his whole heart into it. It's not just about me. It's not just about having a comfortable life. It's about being used by Jesus to make a difference in the world. What's the hardest thing that you have? I know we've only got just a few seconds. What's the hardest thing you find in helping members to apply these, these teachings? I think they've got used to being religious. And what we need is a vibrant, life-changing relationship with Jesus. When we have that, he says, you are the light of the world. If you've got my light in you, you can bless people around you. Jesus wants to bless you. And Dr. Morris has shared with us some powerful teachings today. Thank you very much. I mean, they're not yours, but you are a conduit for Christ to get them to us. And Christ wants to give those same things to you. And I pray that you will allow him to do that. And not only by obtaining this book, but just letting him live his life through you. Thanks for being a part of today's broadcast. You've been watching Between the Lines.